Hey guys and welcome back to yet again another season 10 educational uh, gameplay guide guys today we're going to cover oriana mid lane today extremely strong champion in the current patch that we are living in today she's a really good champion for solo queue if you're looking to like climb some ranks and uh win like a lot of games and carry a lot of games so yeah with that being said guys let's just cover this champ so uh I always play Orianna in a very interesting way because my build is completely uh, like off meta. It's something that not many people are building. It's actually really strong and I would definitely recommend you guys. I could have put my W there. But anyways guys, I have extremely strong build. Something that no one is using ever. Which I don't know if right there. There we go. So as for the build, I always build Rod of Ages as the first item on Orianna. Now it might sound really crazy, but it's actually so good. Like you guys will see, I'll show you guys. But anyways guys, uh, for this matchup, the way how I usually play Orianna is like in a very, very aggressive way throughout the early game. Of course it does depend on the matchup, but in most matchups, Orianna actually has one of the best level ones of the entire game because you can both uh, farm it out and like move your ball to aggressive. You can do so much with the Q early on. I usually try to play as aggressive as I can. And after reaching level 6, I have this kind of roaming uh, ver uh, version of playing Orianna. I always focus on roaming and pressuring the lane rather than just going for kills. It's a very consistent way to like carry a lot of games. So right here, I'm currently maintaining the pressure. This guy is actually fighting the jungle right now. So we're just going to roam in immediately. Hopefully we couldn't get that kill over there. I don't even mind flashing for this actually. I got him. Okay. Like that's what I always focus on when playing Orianna. This is the type of play style you want to have if you're playing Orianna mid lane guys. Because you don't necessarily have to get the kill in the lane. You don't necessarily have to. Oh, actually, he's going really aggressive there. As long as you can apply pressure throughout the lane, so you can actually roam down and help out your jungler with other objectives, as long as you play like that, you will have a very consistent way of winning games. I'm gonna pop my shield over here. Could poke her down. There we go. She has to flash out because otherwise I would take like a really, really big uh, part of her health bar. She will take that cannon. Yep, she got that cannon. Okay. But yeah, guys. Rod of Ages Orianna. I'll show you guys. It's super easy to maintain pressure with my build. There we go. Put a Q in there. If he goes for another or, uh, CS, I will kill this guy. Yes, I'm going for that one. Okay. He's not able to take the farm. I still have my W there. Okay, now I have to push it out really, really hard because he's actually going back to base right now. Okay. I should have stopped that one. Kind of my mistake. And push it out all the way. There we go. But yeah, guys, this is the kind of playstyle you want to have. You just want to focus on the maintaining that pressure in mid lane and then roaming down different lanes so you can help them out instead. Uh, let me actually buy. There we go. And we're also going to buy boots. Okay, so going for Rod of the Ages, it allows you to be a whole lot more tanky. While also scaling up to the mid late game where you're going to deal like a mass amount of damage. But mainly uh, this item gives you mana every t every single time you level up. Which uh, helps you have that um, consistent like uh, mana. So you can like consistently push in over and over again. Also for the runes as well as the entire full build guys. You can find it all in the description. So make sure to check that out. Uh, we can take him there. He doesn't have flash anymore. I still have my ult. Yep, got him. 
Ah, oh, there he's gonna come from. This is one auto. Ah, I should have just. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> he actually got out of there. I should have just dropped down my W when uh when I could. Okay. Now we can push in all the way and then go back to base once again. This time with like an extra ward and uh potions as well. There we go. I could push in the next wave too, but it's gonna be like kind of risky because I'm not quite sure where the jungler is. I do have vision around the map, so I can technically just farm this out. I just have to be really careful that the jungler doesn't rush to me. There we go. Like, I've had a ward down here. Uh, if he would come from the, the wall, I could just run away with my E and W. So, technically, we were just fine there. Good. We can buy this one, and we can buy potions. Great. So... If you're playing mid lane, it doesn't matter if you're playing Orianna, but it doesn't matter what kind of champion you're playing. It's always the same. Um, I always recommend you guys to buy wards. It doesn't matter your position, even for top lane and bot lane. It's just so important to have wards. Uh, okay, there we go. <clears throat> Sweet. Uh, if you guys don't mind, let me just quickly real quick turn off the sound of my phone so it doesn't interfere with my microphone okay there we go fixed okay great so now the thing we have to do right now is to reapply like that pressure in, in the lane also i could have teleported down there but it seemed to be really risky i was like taking a look at the map and just wasn't right I've got two potions right now. I have one uh, ward as well, so which I can place down right now. I'll just place it down right now before pushing it out, so I know what I'm like dealing with. There we go. I always recommend either placing a ward down here or placing a ward down right here, because that allows you to see where the jungler uh, actually is. Okay. We can just poke him over and over again. Every single time he goes for a CS, we could literally just drop down the Q right there. And poke him down that way. You see that? He's not able to get close to the farm. Because every single time he does, I can just stop him. There we go. There's only one single Q right now. I still hit him. Oh, that's going to be like two kills right now. Oh, he got saved there. Uh, I don't think... I have no mana. <laughs> I have no mana for the W. Okay, we still got him after all. So, um, around the early game, uh, in terms of damage... You will have a little bit less damage like you always do on Orianna because you're actually building the uh, this uh, this item. It makes you more tanky. It gives you the mana. You're supposed to like apply pressure over and over again. That's what this build is about. But as soon as you get the uh, the item finished, uh, let me just get the farm right here before I miss it. As soon as you get the item finished, you will have all the damage you need. So. This is the build you want to go for, not just the snowball mid lane, but just to push in over and over again. That's what it's about. So we can go back right here. We can actually wait down for my uh, rough ages. This is where uh, Oriana actually starts like scaling in the game, uh, where she actually gets like a ton of damage. Because in about 10 minutes, we will have this item like fully stacked and we will have a lot of health, a lot of mana, and best part, a lot of AP2 and everything in combination. It's such a good item, honestly. We can now kill this guy like pretty easy. Let's just do it right away. As soon as he goes for that CS right there, I'll drop down my Q. I'll just drop it down already. So, uh, let me place it right down. Whenever he tries to get close, I can just drop down a Q. He's, or he's not able to farm. Oh. The jungler is right here as well. 
I'll stand not too close to that. I know the jungler is sitting there. I know he is. You can also clearly see that on the way how um, how this guy is moving. Back off again. I don't want to get hit by the skill shot. And we got him. So yeah. Like, this is the way how you want to play Orianna. You want to play in a very, very inconsistent way. Um, consistent way where you don't get poked. You stay alone a long distance so he doesn't reach out to you. If you play perfectly, technically you don't really get to lose this matchup. Technically you just don't. Now I can take another plating. Sweet. I could push in the next wave here as well. Still have my teleport up too. Actually three men just jumping here on us. I could, I could try. Okay. I, we still got like one kill there. I, for some reason I didn't see Yasuo coming over. I did have vision around here but... I, I was watching the map the entire time. What, was I that blind? I don't know. No problem. I think they passed my uh, my vision. I, I think they they walked like around it. Okay, so now we're gonna buy boots. Like as soon as you get the rod of ages, you want to finish your boots as quick as you can, because that's what allows you to roam around the map and like position yourself into a like a much better way. It also, if you buy Sorcerer's Boots, uh, you also get to get like 18 magic penetration. So you're still getting damage despite going for boots. That's why I always recommend going for Sorcerer uh, Boots instead of going for the cooldown one. I'm gonna push this out all the way. And this time, we're gonna go bot lane and see if we can maybe get like a good catch off. This is going to be the perfect example of what I'm talking about. Roaming, applying pressure over and over again. Yep, like five men, four men are going here. Wow, I cannot believe that how far this guy has got. <laughs> I cannot believe that my jungler actually missed it. Okay. We got that, we got the Yasuo, we got the Yumi there as well. I didn't hit my ultimate on Yasuo, but I still hit the other guy, so whatever. We are way too tanky for this guy right now. We have too much mana to just push it in all over. And we have too much damage because it's scaling up right now. I can easily dive this guy on our tower without any issue. He's going to go for that CS. I'll just walk back a little bit, drop down my Q. Actually, this guy coming over here with an ultimate. Okay. You see, guys. Okay. And we still got him after all. Now we can take the tower. Like, you see, guys, we have a very, very consistent way of playing this game. Just playing like safe enough and scale up with the item and eventually, uh, you, you know, with the strategy, you just don't really die that much if you play correctly. Wow, these guys are going insane. I still have my teleport throughout the game. Let's quickly make my way back. I could teleport to this ward right now and then catch them. Uh, I'm gonna go for this one and take some more. There we go. I'll teleport to this one and run over to mid lane so we can catch them. Get the movement speed from the teleport. I don't know why my jungler is actually not here. This guy is like... Okay. And we got him. Okay, great. Okay, that was strange. My jungler went to farm. He didn't exactly see me walking over there. And Yasuo was overextending so much, he had nowhere to go. That's that's quite interesting. 
<laughs> Alright, let's push another way. Nice. Get this one as well. And now we can take the tower. I could technically stay mid lane and push in over and over again. But that would be really risky. Because we are not quite sure where everyone is. There's no vision around the map. Only here. So after buying Rod of Ages, the Boots and Void Staff, I usually buy the Rebidence Death Gap as the next item. And eventually, I always uh, buy Zhonyas, because Zhonyas are always useful. It doesn't matter what kind of game, but Zhonyas are always useful. And for the last item, like, I really like to go this this item, Lion Stormman. It's not something that many people buy, but... We are kind of playing the um, tanky, but also like max damage Orianna with this build. That's why I like to combine combine that together. My ultimate was like half a second. Okay. Okay. Well. Got him. Like, he got the kill there. That's fine. He can have it if he wants to. Thank you. And we got him too. This game is going to be completely done. Because I'm starting to scale, like, so hard right now. I already have so much damage. I'm already super tanky. They don't really stop me right now anymore. Nice. We could look for like a really early end in the game. We could continue pushing because we're we're like way stronger than they are. Oh, I could have killed her with me. I didn't know her to be that low. Wow, this guy is going insane. Okay, we can just continue pushing like one more wave before we go back. Here we go. Always put the ball into a really good position where if they happen to come, like your ball's already in position zoning them out. That's how you want to position your Q every single time. So I'm gonna drop down the Q over there. If they happen to walk on my uh, on my Q right now, I could just kill them instantly. Uh, I don't think they will do that, but yeah, let's go back. So now, I'm gonna get even more damage. It's gonna be even more fun right now. Like, this is literally what Oriana's about, guys. Consistent gameplay and then carry after. Lucian is pushing topside. This is not smart because they're actually they're ganking him right now. I don't think he knows. Okay, he does know. Okay. Good. So now we can go ball lane. It's the best for us to go ball lane right now because top lane is in the. If we got nothing to do to, uh, top lane, mid lane is nothing to do either, and ball lane seems to be really good because we can push in there over and over again. We can also take camps if. If there's nothing to do. But mid lane is no choice because the inhib is already down there. And the chance is pretty high that all of them are there. I could kill the Yasu in like a single combo. <laughs> nice try. I mean those those combos man. <laughs> nice try. He knows how to run, at least. Good, now we can force the entire ball lane. It's gonna be like a really quick game from now because mid lane's already over. They're not even defending anymore. They're just super tilted. I don't know what he's doing. <coughs> I 
great. My ultimate's gonna come back in uh, 45 seconds from now. Also, my teleport is starting to get lower cooldown. This is good. We're also in a new patch where the teleport is being uh, is being changed. <clears throat> So now, it's just a matter of waiting. Waiting for my teammates to be in the right spot. I'll just continue like pushing bot lane over and over again. There we go. If he tries to show up, I can just kill him immediately. <laughs> He's being so scared for my Q. Let's see if they happen to uh, walk into my ultimate. Yes, they do. But I wait. I I waste my ultimate there because he didn't bother. I was hoping that he would run in a different direction where I could just catch him right away. So we're gonna go back. Buy the available, po uh, sell the available potion and buy this one. Great. I'll just TP in immediately because this game is going to be a quick, uh, qu uh, quick one from now. No idea what she's doing. She's standing AFK at the tower right there. No idea. These guys are like fighting right here. Everyone seems to be tilted in the enemy team. Oh, what is she doing? What is she thinking? Like, I, I still I still have my shield too. But anyways, guys, you see what Orianna is capable of with this build, guys. If I didn't have my Rod of Ages right now, she would never have killed me. Like, she would never... Uh, I would have never survived that. It shows how strong it is. Okay. Interesting. Thank you. I don't know what she's doing. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Anyways, guys. This is everything you need to know about Oriana. The way... How you should play her, the way how the the build should be, and everything. Uh, thank you so much for watching today. Hopefully, you guys have learned something. And with that being said, I'll just see you guys in the next upcoming episode. Peace.